All right, don't get me confused. This is not a calendar girl episode. This is actually a speed build. But anyways, my name is Pixelated Twix, if you're new here. First off, welcome. And if you're an OG, welcome to my corner of Al Gore's internet. Do -do 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 -do. <laughs> I don't know. It's Sunday afternoon. It's getting late. I'm not ready to start my work week. And I'm trying to make the best of what's left of my weekend. Um, this video was is going to be released tomorrow in lieu of the, um, well, with what? The new pack, stuff pack coming out. Sorry, I hit the microphone. Uh, Moschino. Moschino? Is that how you say it? Yes. The new design stuff pack. I'm really excited actually about that stuff pack, um, at least for the build by items because of the windows, the windows alone were like, oh, man, you had me at the windows. I was going to buy the pack anyways, because I'm a sucker. I am a sucker. Just slap that word on my head. I'll wear the big scarlet letter for sucker. Even though there are some packs that were questionable, questionable, I still gave EA my, my coins. Ah, but I'm, I'm a sucker. It's the Sims. They know it. They have us and they know it. They know they got us. World of Warcraft does that me too. Does that to me too. They, it, so I'm just a sucker all the way around. Yeah, so I'll wear that big S on my chest, um, but I will be getting this pack. Let me know in the comments if you're going to get it, what you think about it. Be honest with me. This is a safe space, uh, I guess, if we want to use that terminology. This is, um, I definitely appreciate honesty. Um, I want my viewers to be as honest with me as possible um, with content and, you know, what you think about games in general. Um, who knows? I might share the same opinion. I'm an extremely opinionated uh, person and a gamer because I know what I like. I know what I don't like. And I'm not afraid to say that. I'm old enough, actually, where I don't worry about too much about what folks say. I try not to be... Um, I don't want to say I try not to be offensive because it's hard these days not to offend people, but I do like to speak my truth, um, with love, you know, but I went on a tangent. Let's get back to this build. So yes, um, with the release of the new Moschino pack, I had an, um, a notion. This wasn't because of the pack, but, um, this, I guess, came at the right time because I wanted to, um, I wanted to do an, another industrial build and I have done a couple. I did do one a couple weeks ago. It wasn't necessarily an industrial build, but it had some an aspects of industry because it was a Fallout 4 build. I'll link that in the iCards, but, um, this build popped up in my mind because in my new Let's Play Calendar Girl, and that's why the intro is Calendar Girl, because this is a venue that will be in my new Let's Play. For one reason, the venue that I was using before was not working. No one was showing up, and I just didn't want an unusable lot in my neighborhood. There would be no point, and I needed it for story storytelling gameplay. Um, secondly, there just isn't a lot of activities to do in The Sims 4. I cannot be the only one who feels this. I struggle sometimes with my let's play trying to find things to do and I found myself doing the same things over and over again like going to the club or going to the karaoke bar or going to a restaurant that's it and I know there's bowling alleys and there's skating rinks but there's not a lot of options that come up on the gallery and I'm kind of a lazy builder I don't I'm not a builder so let's rewind. I'm not a builder, correction, 
but I do like to build from time to time. I don't like to build out of necessity, however. I like to build because I want to build. And I did actually end up wanting to build this because once I got the idea in my head, I was all for it. So I decided on a community center, I thought it would be perfect for Sam Myshuno and it would be perfect for my story. Um, I was inspired by an industrial build that I saw online and I wanted to try to recreate it as close as possible. It's not, it's not, but it has my own spin on it because I like to be creative as well. I do get inspired by a lot of things, but I like to have nuances of myself and things that I've seen online and on the gallery or what have you. Everyone inspires me. Everything inspires me. So Yes, so here it is, uh, the quad. Now, I did use that name for the original venue. That was not the original name for that build, but I decided to reuse it because it was perfect for this lot because there are four sections, and you'll see that later in the video. There will be four parts to this community lot. There is the actual community building, there's the outside eating area or pavilion, there's a movie, outdoor movie area, and there'll be a pool. So there's your quad. How original. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Oh, okay. Fair warning, this, this build is not going in the gallery for two reasons. One, because this is going in my Let's Play, I kind of wanted to be a little selfish not gonna lie I wanted to play this by myself I didn't want to share however I may be willing to upload it later on as the story progresses number two this building does have CC you already know that mural is not in the game those windows are not in the game those arches are not in the game those arches are actually uh, a peacemaker I see um, item the uh, mural is also by P, P, P maker by peacemaker I see so if you want um, those those items you are more than welcome to download them from his tumblr page and I don't mind linking that below either um, however like I said before I may decide to upload this to the gallery later also I did use a lot of alpha items in this build, I wanted to have more freedom of expression with my community center. So I already knew that I wasn't going to upload this to the gallery, or I already knew that I was going to use a lot of alpha CC. So I planned on not uploading this to the gallery, or the chicken came before the egg, egg before the chicken kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? So I wanted the, uh, the, the freedom to create without thinking about if people are going, going to be able to actually play in this venue or when they download it, is it going to be empty? I will say that 95% of this build is Maxis. The rest of it, the, the 5% belongs to random Alpha CC creators and Peacemaker IC. Uh, most of it is clutter and like some wall swatches most of the building uh, has a wall swatch I believe is by Peacemaker I could be wrong I don't I believe it's by him I or Praline Sims to uh, Praline Sims and Peacemaker keep me in wallpaper and floors hands down those two I I cannot not download their items Praline Sims jewelry walls, floors, everything. So I love her stuff. So, but that's my aesthetic. I don't mind mixing Alpha with Maxis because I think if you get the right pieces, it doesn't matter. It's like when your mom tells you that there's two, you, you look at your mom and say, hey, I've got two shades of gold here. There's the earrings that are this shade of gold and there's a bracelet that this shade of gold. My mom always told me if they're far enough apart, it won't make a difference. So same thing with Alpha and Maxis. If it's 
not if they're far enough apart, it doesn't matter. No, if it's like small things like clutter, clutter, you can kind of get away with walls. Definitely could get away with some flooring. Yes. Yeah. So those are things that I like to mix and match furniture. Sometimes I'm really, really picky about furniture. I'm, I would say again, 95% Maxis match when when it comes to furniture, but there are some things that catch my eye, like there's bicycles and stuff like that that we don't. Oh, that's something I would love to have in the game, are like objects like bicycles. Why don't we have that? We used to have bicycles in the game in The Sims Three because we had cars and stuff, but that's a painful subject for everybody. Mm -hmm. Moment of silence for not having cars in the game that work. Okay. So I would love to have bikes as an object, have a bike rack and a couple bikes that would be perfect for any build, a house, because that's realistic. Kids ride bikes, people, adults ride bikes, even if it's an object, like I said, that would be a great addition. Why can't we have that? I'm complaining already. Look, I'm sorry. Also, these industrial windows, those are something that I had to have for this build. And I realized that with the new Moschino pack, we will be getting industrial windows. I don't know exactly how many different types. I didn't get a chance to watch the stream and I haven't really looked at all the items. Um, I'm trying to avoid watching all the videos until Monday, I guess, well, today when this will be released, when people... When um, EA Game Changers will be releasing their thoughts and reviews on the packs and going over all the build by items and the cast items. I'm not really excited about the cast items. Moschino is not my flavor of tea or Kool-Aid when it comes to um, clothing items. First of all, I'm not paying four or $500 for a t-shirt. If you see me, if I see you see me, see you see me wearing a $400 t-shirt, smack me because I've lost my mind. Smack me because $400, $500 for a t-shirt? Sir, ma'am, no. If you have that kind of disposable income, more power to you, but I work hard for my coins and I just refuse to spend $400 on a t-shirt. I can find $400 to spend on something else like computer equipment, <laughs> a new console or some bills, bills with a Z. <laughs> I have adult problems. So, uh, yeah, $400, come on, but okay. Which trips me out. Okay. Just for a moment, hang with me for a moment. This trips me out. Your main audience are children. Your that's your main target are teenagers. To me, I'm sorry. A teenager is still a child because I'm an adult. I'm old enough to have a, a teenager of my own. But to me, a teenager does not have that kind of disposable income. Maybe, maybe teenagers nowadays, but teenagers when I was a teenager, there's absolutely no way a teenager had $400 unless they were doing things illegally, you know, or their parents were rich. And even then that's their parents' money. It's not their money. So if your target audience is teens, why would your pack be, and I get it, we have luxury items and we had, we had like high-end loft stuff in The Sims 2 and The Sims 3 and Sims 1. I get that, but we're talking about an actual designer um, clothing line. If we're going to go designer, I would something that's, a, would like something that's a little more, <sighs> tangible. That's not the word I'm looking for. Girl, use that English degree. Something that's a little more attainable in my, um, that my, my bank account won't be giving me side eye about purchasing. Um, like Target. <laughs> 
Okay, I'm sorry. All right, let's get back to this build. I'm really going into on a tangent, but I, I had to say that because I feel like um, the the Sims team kind of lost touch with their audience there for a moment. Don't get me wrong. I love the build by item, uh, items. So I'm looking forward to using those definitely. Um, and I can't wait to see what this pack all entails. I know there is a f new freelance career, um, which I'm excited about. I'm definitely going to be using that at my new LP. This will be perfect for Calendar Girl, um, or at least for the series, not necessarily Harmony, but for the series in general. So I'm really excited about that. Um, and I will use the cast items. I won't lie. I'll use them. There will be some Sadiddy Sim that will wear them. And that's perfect. Matter of fact, there's a, a couple YouTubers that I follow that actually do wear Moschino. Barbie Moschino mostly. And they look really, really cute in them. It's just not for me. It's not my style. Um, I'm more of a boho kind of... Uh, I'm a little more eclectic. I have very random tastes in fashion it can go anywhere from t-shirts to jeans to a very boho sundress and very um original jewelry i'll just say original um but i do love odd pieces so okay but you don't need to know these things about me but that's just where my fashion runs but the moschino is not my thing it's just not. Anyway, so yes, the community center was my idea to add a little more gameplay to my LP. Um, if you saw my tutorial on how I create a high school using clubs, this was kind of, um, I kind of had the same thought process for the center. Um, do you remember in The Sims 3 when you could go to the bistro and take a cooking class or... Uh, the bookstore and take a writing class or something like that and your sim would go into the right the rabbit hole and then come back a couple hours later and have a new skill point or what have you or a boost in their skill skill point wrong type of game um this was the same idea that i had only these are a little more tangible you can actually go into the, the community center and take a class. So I've got a cooking class. I've got an art class. I've got yoga. There's computers. Um, there's uh, music. Some of the clubs are locked off or some of the classes are locked to clubs only. But like the common areas where there's the computers and there's video games and there's yoga, those things are available to everyone. Even the gardening class, that is Avail open because I didn't want to lock that off because of the way I have, have it set up. Um, so this is something that I wanted in my game to add more gameplay and some dynamics to my storyline because like I said, I was tired of doing the same things over and over again. Yes, I realize there's hockey and skating and bowling. Again, not something that I wanted to have to build and there weren't a lot of options. And TSR has been a lifesaver, the Sims resource. If, you could, if you're not familiar with that website, there's a ton of Sims for CC, mostly a lot of alpha, but I do download a lot of alpha makeup and things like that from there and shoes because Madeline's, Madeline Sims, yes, girl, I love your shoes. Um, I tend to go on there a lot for venues or houses that I can't find in the gallery. I always look at the gallery first because I want to support the builders on the gallery always. But if I can't find what I'm looking for or it's not exactly the look I'm looking for or searching for, um, I will go on the Sims resource. I don't even know why, where, why was I on the Sims resource? What was I talking about? <laughs> Oh man, I need to go to bed. It's early, but I need to go to bed. <laughs> yeah. All right. So real quick, I added a pool. I had the waterfall. I saw that Kate Emerald 
created a tutorial on how to create a waterfall using some of the new unlock items from Island Living, Island Living Mon. Oh, that was a bad, bad, bad accent. I don't care. I'm, I'm rocking with it. I decided that my my lot needed a little more dimension. So instead of using her idea, I just used my tried and true rocks and those unlock rocks came in handy. So the pool has a really cool waterfall feature. You'll see that later in the video. And I switched up the movie area as you can see. So I wanted that outdoor movie venue and yeah, so that's really it. I really hope you enjoy this video. I do have some screenshots of the building later on if you don't feel like watching the whole thing and you just want to skip ahead. Feel free. I understand this is a long video. Now, let me know if you want me to upload this to the gallery. If this is something that you want, I will go ahead and do that, keeping in mind that not everything in this build is available but if you want the cc that i use i don't mind linking those um items um from google docs so you can have that let me know drop that in the comments below all right so i will talk to you guys later later but before i go if you're not a member of the pixelated twix gang i don't even have a nickname for you guys help me with a nickname. Do we need one? I mean, do I have enough people to have one? I don't know how that works. I, I don't know what to do with my hands. But um, yeah, if you're not a member of the family, I hope you consider following me because this is where all the antics happen. You know, all the embarrassing things. I let it all hang out because I'm at that age where I don't care. <laughs> I'm not ashamed. This is all me. And yeah, I will be myself. At least I will try. All right. So again, I hope you decide to hang out with me. And in the meantime, hit that notification bell. So you know, every time I upload, I do try to upload at least three times a week. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes it doesn't. Because life, yeah. All right. I will talk to you later, and until next time, ciao.